Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a slightly edited version of an email I got. Hi, I got this problem in an exam in Hungary for 15 year olds. At first, I could not figure it out. I got so frustrated that I was thinking about it all day. When I finally got the answer, I was so happy. Now the problem. When empty, a container fills completely from a faucet in A hours. When full, the same container drains completely if its drain is open for B hours. If the faucet is on and the drain is open at the same time, how many hours will it take to completely fill the container? You are given that the absolute value of A minus B equals 1 by Daniel from Hungary. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So I appreciate that Daniel didn't just send me an email asking me for help to figure out the problem, which I'm getting more and more of every day. I appreciate that he actually spent the time to work on it all day and try and figure out a solution. So how can we work through this problem? So I actually missed one of the cases and Daniel pointed out that my answer was incomplete. The first case you should consider is if A is greater than or equal to B. This means it takes longer for the faucet to fill the container than for the drain to completely empty the container. In that case, the drain empties as fast or faster than the faucet, so the container will never get full. The other case is if A is less than B. In that case, after T hours, the faucet would fill T over A percent of the container, and the drain would empty T over B percent of the container. So the percentage filled in the container is the combination of these two fractions. We have T over A full minus T over B that gets drained. Now we want to solve for when the container is completely full to 100%. 100% is equal to 1. So we solve this equation to be equal to 1. We do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by AB. We then end up with TB minus TA equals AB. We can then factor out the T and then divide by B minus A to get T is equal to AB divided by the quantity B minus A. Now we also know that the absolute difference of A and B is 1, and in this case A is less than B. So this means B minus A is equal to 1, or B is equal to A plus 1. Therefore, the time will be equal to AB divided by 1, so it equals AB, which can also be written in a number of other ways, using the relationship that B is equal to A plus 1, or A is equal to B minus 1. We can write it as A times A plus 1, which equals A squared plus A. We can write it as the quantity B minus 1 times B, which we can write as B squared minus B or we can just leave it as a times b. So that's the answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description. You can also support me on Patreon. If you have a puzzle suggestion or a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. You can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.